Sporters, hopefully you have been practicing all week long. I cannot believe that we are in week five of our twirling lessons. So let's go ahead and get started and warm up. So let's march in place. Okay, turn. Forward. To the side. And back to the front. Let's jog in place. Very good. Let's try something. Let's do some butt kicks. I don't think you can see me, but your heels should be hitting your butt. Let's do some high knees. Getting that blood going. All right, very good. All right, let's do some shoulder rolls to the back. All right, to the front. How about some head or some neck rolls, some head rolls, I don't know what these are called. Oh, I sure could use a massage. All right, let's do our hands. Pull your fingers back. Remember, you should feel a pull but don't do it too hard where you are hurting. Other side, slight pull. Stretching your four muscles right here. Now, wrist down. Do the same thing. Pull your hand back a little bit. You should feel a pull. And the other hand. All right, let's uh, put our arm in front. Hold it with the other one. You know, I've got a really big bruise here and I just don't even know how I got that. It doesn't hurt too bad, but it's freaking me out how big it is. I don't know if you've ever gotten a bruise and you have no idea where it came from. I don't know. All right, this other side and let's stretch. All right, good. So we're going to do a quick review of the four twirling um, skills that we've learned so far. The very first one was forward figure eight, right? Let's do our thumb check to the big ball. We're holding it in the middle of the shaft. This is called the shaft, big ball, shaft, tip. All right, we're checking, but then we wrap around. Remember our big thumb kisses our fingers. Loose, not too tight so that it can actually move. So our forward figure eight was where you're dipping for ice cream on one side and giving it to them and dipping on the other side and giving it to them, right? Dip, give, dip, give, dip, give, dip, give. All right? And so you are to practice and get um, that feel. Your wrist is able to move more without moving your arm so much. Try to just keep your arm straight and do more of your wrist is doing the dipping and the giving. All right, very good. So we do the same thing in our left hand. Switch hands, check your baton, check your thumb to the big ball. Dip, give, dip, give, dip, give, dip, give. And again, try to keep your arm straight without moving it so much. Um, where your wrist is just doing the dipping and giving, and then you're practicing and getting quicker and quicker. Now, don't forget the left hand, guys. I know sometimes it feels uncomfortable, it feels awkward, it's yucky. You rather do whatever feels good and you're getting it, but we've got to do both hands. It's so, so, so important. All right. Uh, week two's lesson was a wrist twirl. So let's start on, um, again, thumb check, right hand. And this one is the one where the big ball is just making a circle on the inside. So the big ball goes out, down, towards you, and up, out, down, towards you, and up. And so you get faster and faster. It's like a bicycle tire going around. You're making a circle right here on the inside only. All right, very good. Try to get your 
wrist doing more of the action than your arm. All right, let's switch to the other side. Same thing, big ball goes out, down to you and up, out, down to you and up. And so the big ball should be making a circle on the inside. All right, very, very good. All right, that was lesson two. Lesson three was horizontal. We switched our baton. And the way we thought about it was with the tip that we were stirring a pot. Remember that? On your right hand, the tip is going towards your belly button and around, belly button and around, belly button and around. You are stirring that pot. All right? Then as you get comfortable with that, make sure you're straight and you're not tilting your body anymore. And the baton gets flatter and flatter. You're still stirring, but it's flatter. So then it becomes a horizontal wrist twirl. All right, very good. Left hand, switch sides. Same thing, tip is going to be stirring the pot, but now your tip is gonna go out and around towards your hip and around, hip and around, hip and around. Okay, so that's the direction it goes on your left side. The tip goes to your, to your hip and around, hip and around, right? You're stirring, then you get flatter and flatter until you have your horizontal wrist twirl. All right, that was lesson three. Lesson four, last week's lesson, it was called the matched hand pass. So your baton is on your right hand, your hands are touching, right? And we said, put your baton here on your belly button where your waist is. And you were going to pick it up and bring it with your right hand down to the bottom and connect your hands. Now on your left side, you're going to let go and you're going to do the baton. Now the tip is leading. The tip goes all the way up. And at the top, I have to keep getting further back. At the top, your hands still um, connect together, but it is straight up, okay? So big ball leads, hands together. Tip leads up, hands together. Big ball leads, hands together. The tip leads, hands together, all right? Um, so your hands are always meeting. On the right hand, your big ball is going around and then you get together and you let go and then your tip leads all around together up there, okay? So we were, that was the match hand pass. You're just letting go, you bring it down with the right, up with the left, down with the right, up with the left. So let me turn around, make sure, right? It's going down with the right, Connect up with the left, down with the right, up with the left. Okay, make sure you're connecting up here. You're going all the way down and that you're connecting down here. All right, that was lesson four. So what are we doing today? Today's lesson is called the uh, flourish. Now this flourish movement is one of the most common movements that you will be making in your twirling career. You uh, use it quite often in dance routines and most importantly, you learn it because it is a setup to actually starting to toss the baton later on. It's kind of like it's a, wound, a wind up where you're getting it wound up to actually flip the baton in the air to be able to do turns underneath the baton before catching it or doing any kind of gymnastics tricks underneath it. But this is very the very beginning and it's called the flourish. All right, so we haven't talked about the cradling of the baton. Now, what does that mean? That just means how you hold it. So let's think of a baby. If you were carrying a baby, okay, your baton, your tip is going to be on your elbow, okay? And then hold with your uh, pointer and your thumb. So let's just pretend we're carrying a baby right? Oh, how cute. We don't want to drop it. All right, but let go of this hand, and this is the cradle, all right? 
So now when you put it down, it's the same thing. So you have the tip of the baton cradled in your elbow and then you're holding it straight down, okay? Let me get back. That is the cradle movement position. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to, with the big ball, and you have your, uh, your pointer to the big ball, is you're going to think of a rainbow, right? How does a rainbow start? On one side. So it's gonna go all the way up. Now, when you stop at a diagonal, meaning you're not straight, you're not down here at a diagonal. When you get there, what you're gonna do is your big ball is going to go down towards you and back out. So it's making a circle behind your arm, okay? The big ball is gonna go down towards you and back out, you're pointing it. And then comes back down. Again, it's a rainbow. Stop. The big ball is gonna go down towards you and around. So what it's doing, it's making a circle on the outside of your arm. Okay, make sure it's on the outside. And you know what you can think of? Pretend you have your ponytail behind your head and that ball is going to flip your ponytail, okay? So bring down that ball and it's going to flip that ponytail up, all right? So we'll just call it the ponytail flipper. So bring the ball down and flip that ponytail. All right, but we're gonna do it with a straight arm. So feet together, other hand on your waist, cradle position, you got your baton on the inside, point, big ball down, start going around with a straight arm like it's a rainbow, stop at the diagonal, bring the big ball down and you're gonna flip your ponytail back here and back out and down. Around, big ball goes down and flips your ponytail and out, down, up, flip, down, up, flip, down. This is what a flourish is, okay? Going around, ball goes down and flips your ponytail, points back up and down. Rainbow, ball goes down and flips that ponytail, points and down. Around, down and flips that ponytail, points and down. So these are flourishes. And as you get faster and faster, around, flip, down, around, flip, down, around, flip, down. That is called a flourish. All right, again, you gotta do it on your left hand. So cradle position, same thing, right? The tip of the baton is on the inside of your elbow. You are holding it with your thumb and your pointer to the big ball, like if you were carrying a baby, right? It's a cradle, cute little baby, right? Once you got that cradle, just straight down. All right, now remember, you're kind of in, you're in the center of the baton. All right, so there's your cradle position, feet together. Hands on your waist, same thing, but now you're drawing the rainbow the opposite way. So you're gonna do your rainbow, it goes in front of your body, all the way up to a diagonal. Now the big ball is gonna drop down behind you and it's gonna flip your ponytail and back po uh, pointed out, down, okay, again around in front of your body, out of the diagonal, drop the big ball down behind, flip that ponytail, point back out and down. In front, over, big ball down, flip that ponytail, point 
and down. Around. Ball down. Flip. Point. Down. Around. Big ball goes down behind. Flip. Back out and down. All right? So once you get that comfortable feel of what you're doing, you get faster. Around. Flip. Down. Around. Flip. Down. Around. Flip that ponytail. Okay? That circle is behind your head. The big ball is dropping to the back. Okay? Remember, you're going to flip that ponytail. That's what you're thinking of. Around, rainbow, flip, behind, down. Around, flip, down. Okay? These are your flourishes on your right and your left hand. All right, so keep practicing um, right and left. Make sure your arms stay straight. You're doing like this big rainbow, right? Once it's there, you're gonna drop the big ball down in the back. Make sure it's behind your arm. Flipping that ponytail, pointing and bring it back down. Around, flip, down. Around, flip, down. Same thing on this side. You're gonna cross in front of your body, out, big ball down behind, flips your ponytail and down, round, flips and down, across your body, flips behind in a circle and down. All right, so you've got that to practice all week. Don't forget to join me Friday, 3.30 Central Time on my Facebook page, um, Archangels Twirling Company. I hope to see you there. I wanna hear from you. Any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to send me video of you twirling, of any of these skills. Um, I would love to see this video uh, of you. And again, be on Facebook, Archangels Twirling Company, if you haven't signed up. Um, please uh, search for me and I hope to see you 3.30 Central Time. Remember, I post all my new um, lessons here on the website, lovingwithallmyheartandsoul.com. Every Saturday is the new lesson. And then you practice all week. And then every Friday you join me live so we can chit chat about it, we can review it and Hopefully you can send me video either through the comments or direct message me on Facebook. Send me some video. I would love to see you. So again, today was the flourish. Practice both hands, girls, and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.